Good morning. Today I'm going to be showing you how I took the seats out of my Hyundai Santa Fe. It took me a while to figure out where I was supposed to be undoing the bolts from, but I did find it thanks to someone's help on Facebook. I was driving an Elantra and it was great. It was working for me and I got around great in it. No one ever knew I was sleeping in it and I had a lot of fun. But unfortunately, I was rear-ended and the vehicle ended up being a write-off. This is after they took the bumper off to assess the damage. It looks way worse than it actually was. So first off, you have to move the seats all the way up to the front and I put the seats down. I folded them down, but with my vehicle, I had to take the headrests off first. So I took the headrests off, folded them forward, moved them up, and at the back, you'll see there are three bolts. I didn't record before I took the bolts out, but here you'll see where I did remove one bolt and two on the other side, and then same goes for the other seat. Underneath, you're gonna have to, if you have the heated seats like I do, you have to un open up these little latch pieces here. Flip them open and pull the pieces apart and then leave the one piece there and clamp the thing back down. This thing's pretty easy just to pop open. I did it before I started recording, of course. Take off the nuts and you have to do that in order to loosen up the inside there so you can take them apart. I thought I had to take the whole thing out, but I didn't. So just pop that out of there and that's it. I closed it back up and put the nuts back on and left it that way. And then I pushed the chairs back again. There are two plastic pieces on either side and the front. which I didn't realize that's where the bolts were. So you have to pry the pieces of plastic off, pop them off, I use a screwdriver, and underneath there you'll find the bolts that hold the fronts down. So you undo both of those bolts on either side. But then the seat is still attached to wires, so you have to, don't just pull the seat out, you think it's loose, but because the wire is still attached, so you have to get under there and undo the wire, pull apart the plastic pieces. I pulled them apart by pushing this little button here on the plastic piece. And then back around this other side, you will see that it's still attached to the vehicle with this little black piece here. You gotta squeeze it and poke it through. With the part that was still attached to the vehicle, I shoved it underneath the carpet. And then with the other piece that was for the seat, that was the heater, I just tucked it underneath the seat. There's a uh, bolt that connects the seat belt, I think, to the floor. So you have to undo the seat belt bolt. There's only one bolt on the larger side of the seat. The other side doesn't have it. When I bought this vehicle, unfortunately, it did look like this, but Hyundai did end up cleaning it. I, I took out the small side first, and it was just kind of, the seat belt was just woven through like elastics to keep it in place. So I just had to pop it out of the elastic. So in all, there was three, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven bolts I had to take out. And then I also put them all back into the the holes in the car so that I have them there next time I want to put the seats back in. The platform that I made for my bed is quite simple. It's just one piece of wood. This is Canadian, but it's equivalent to approximately 26 American. It lines up with the back um, cargo area, which is already there. So I just used that and continued on with wood 
and it's worked out perfectly. Mattress, I cut to size that was originally a queen size foam mattress and now it is an SUV mattress. And the wood that I had um, at home, I happened to have perfect size wood so I didn't have to saw anything. In order to get the best measurements I could for the bed, I decided to do a template. I just took some brown or wrapping paper type of stuff, laid it out there and pushed it down with my nail around the sides. Once I got that done, I took a little blade that I had and I just cut it out. And then I taped another piece down onto that and continued on with my cutting and I got a nice little template. Suitcase and Rubbermaid tub were there because I was trying out different ways for the platform. I could have used a double mattress instead of a queen size mattress, but this is what I had, so I went with that. Just laid the template out and I took a marker and outlined it. Once I had the lines there, I went ahead and made lines again so that I didn't take off as much as I was thinking I had to take off, just so I had extra and I figured it was foam so I could just squish it into place. Then I took a bread knife and went to town. It did the job, that's for sure. It is not exactly perfect, but it is perfect for me. I messed up here on the wheel wells. If I was to do it again, I would do it on an angle so that the top part of the mattress still covered the wheel well. I did have to take more off the end over there, and now it seems to be a pretty good fit. Now onto the plywood that I bought at Home Depot. I just had it resting on the stool in the middle there to give it some support and I rested the piece of wood on the wheel well. So I covered them with tape and found these pieces of wood in my garage, which happened to be the perfect size. I drilled some holes in through the wood and the leg. I'm not even sure if I had to drill holes or if I could have just put the screws right in, but anyways, that is what I did. I realized that the screws I was using were probably too short and I decided to look for some longer ones. So once I got those four screws in, everything was very secure, very solid. I don't know how I missed this, but <laughs> I don't have a video of me actually taking the stool out from the middle where it was resting on the stool and now there's actually a piece of wood there. It's a 2 by 8 I believe and I attached it just with a couple of screws to the top of the platform and then one screw that goes into the top of the cover of the cargo box there just so it's more secure. Then I realized I needed to put something on the end of the platform just so that the mattress didn't keep sliding off. So I found these old, uh, before a floating shelf, these old pieces in my toolbox of miscellaneous things. And I thought that'd be good to slide on there so that they can come on or off whenever I want once that's screwed in, of course. Just like that. If you stick around to the end, I will be sharing the final product, of course, and also a view from the hatch on my first trip that I just went on. I took the straps that were inside an old suitcase so that I could use them to bolt the whole platform to the car. I cut holes in them and put the bolts through them. And on the other end, I'm going to put screws and screw it into the platform itself. I just found some random screws and washers so that I could attach it to the leg of the platform. I love that I can bolt it right to the car with the holes that are already there. That's what I did with my Elantra as well when I put a platform in there.
the mattress does bulge out a bit here. It could have been a little shorter. In my miscellaneous tools, I found um, some nuts and bolts and an L bracket I picked up at Home Depot for a couple of dollars. I'm thinking it may take a little bit of pressure off the two side pieces that I put in. Thank you so much for being here. I really appreciate you watching and being on my journey with me. If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe. And I hope to see you in the next one. Take care.